And hi YouTube, this is gonna be a bit of a different video. I'm basically gonna explain, I guess, how I got the 38 challenges in like the first two or three weeks of the league. And give any tips that I learned while doing them. Now this is just gonna be me saying how I did them and what I think is the easiest way to do them. I'm in no way a amazing player at this game. <laughs> the only uber boss I've killed is uber shaper. That was last league when I had Ashes of the Stars on this build, so it was just melting bosses with a level 30 explosive arrow. And quality on it for more duration, but yeah. Let's just go through the challenges one by one, and I'll tell you guys how I did them. This one, just allocate the path of mastery, you get that easily by following a build guide. Magic utility flask, again easy, this is easy. Enter the lake, easy, you just open a chest, take the reflections, you're just gonna get this by doing the league mechanic. Vendor SPs, life or mana flask, you get this from vendoring three of the same tier of life or mana flask to upgrade them. You, some people probably do that while leveling, I certainly do. Uh, this one, you just vendor an iron ring with either a red, blue or green gem of any type. And you get one of these rings, chromatic orb is just the chromatic orb recipe, any item with red, green, blue linked sockets. And chaos orb recipe, which is just a full set of gear, I think at least I level 60, but make sure it isn't all 75. And you sell it to the vendor and you get chaos orbs, because if it's all 75 plus, it's gonna give you rego orbs, and you don't want that. Act bosses, you get this by just doing the campaign. The last monster is easy, strong box easy, rogue exile, you're gonna see a lot of them. This one, activate the Necroing Shrine. In my opinion, this is the worst and most RNG challenge in the whole league, but it's the only one like it, so I personally did not find a single Echoing Shrine, even when fully stacked into shrines, with all these small nodes for a percent chance to find an additional one. With, uh, what is it? With this one, which guarantees at least one every map, I had this for so long and I just could not find one. So what I did was I just stalked the fucking TFT server until someone said he was selling a shrine, Echoing Shrine for 40 chaos, and I just paid 40 chaos for this. Other people might sell it for way more, like a divine, I don't know. Up to you if you want to just stay in trade day 20 and look for someone who might be selling it, or maybe give it for free here, or if you want to look for it yourself, but I couldn't find one. I feel like they made them rarer, maybe it's just mind games, I have no idea. But yeah, this is the only really bad one that's pure RNG. This one, open, itemize legs, this is easy, move blockages, yeah, this is just swapping around tiles, so this is easy, and this is easy, you get these choices a lot, really. Act bosses, you do this while doing the campaign, again, easy. Equip a bunch of uniques, pretty easy. Essence encounters, right, the first league specific one. This is just corrupt 20 essences, it's fairly easy when you have all the essence nodes to, like, uh, give you a higher chance to have a corrupting remnant. I don't remember which one of these it is. Is it this one? I don't know. Wait. Yeah, 10% increased chance to contain a remnant of corruption. The small nodes. I have like 24 left, even after corrupting so many. Uh, Essence monster at least 3 shrieking in an area of 81, so in a tier 14 map. It's pretty easy when you have the essences at a tier higher node here. And you can even corrupt them to try and ra raise their tier if you find like three of the one below shrieking, so three screamings. You can corrupt it and it could turn into three shriekings. Fairly easy, then two essence monsters with at least six essences within five seconds. Now this doesn't specify uh, area level, so you could just do this in T1 maps if you want to make it easy. And if you see any monster with five essences, you can corrupt it to try and add one to make it six, because you will have like these nodes, 15% chance to have 3 additional, you can even take this small one here for a bit more and all the other ones. And then release one of the special ones, you get this by just corrupting purple essences, fairly easy. And yeah, defeating the two essences, if you're gonna build like explosive arrow, like this one, you're just gonna ignite them equally, they're gonna die fairly fast, like close to each other, right? Abyss encounters. 
75 abysses and maps, so you can safely ignore them during the campaign if you don't want to do them. 10 abyssal depths, you will get 10 before you do 75 and maps, I'm fairly sure about that. And yeah, you can spec into these abyss nodes while doing that, just to give you a half chance of finding depths and finding the bosses in them, because you do need to kill a boss in the 83 or higher area. Now with this node, plus 3 to monster level of abyssal depths, you can actually only farm abysses in tier 12 max, and when you enter the depths, it's still gonna be level 83. So you can just farm easy low tier 12s with this node, and you would still get the challenge for defeating a boss if you find a boss in the depths. Now five abysses in the tier 14 map, you can guarantee this by buying a winged abyss scarab. I don't know which one are abyss, I think this one or this one. Buy a winged abyss scarab, use it on a uh, what is it, T14 map, just make it white if you want to make it easy, and craft abyss from the map device. Wind abyss adds 3 abysses, this adds 2, so it's 5 guaranteed. And this is done, you just have to farm 75 after doing these 3. Ambush. This one, you can just spec into these two little nodes, make all your strong boxes corrupt and rare. And also this one to get an operative box, Val versus just in the Val Temple map. And then Gem Cutter, fairly common, Arcanist again, fairly common, and then Cartographer and Diviners. For these, you can get these two small nodes and run only tier 1 maps, because that's the highest chance to get a Cartographer until you find one. And then these two nodes run any map and you'll find the Diviner corrupted, and that's that challenge done. And not the lake. This is, you have to just mouse over your three abilities, read what league mechanic you need to do it, what difficulty, and you fully unlock them. Fairly easy, right? Heist. This is pretty easy. Just do heist, open chests, you know, do 81 contracts, 50 of them, and then do each type of blueprint fully reviewed. Not fully reviewed. You just have to review three wings. You don't even have to review every room or route or anything. As you can see, I got a bunch of blueprints and stuff and contracts because I spec them to heist. If you really want to make it easier, you can take this wheel, which gives you a 10% chance to find blueprints fully revealed. It procked like twice for me, I think. So I just got two of these for free basically without spending coins. Legion encounters. Complete these legions. 30, that's pretty easy. War hordes. War hordes, you can spec into legion with this little note here. Each legion always contains one war horde. Then you can use polished or gilded scarabs to add more of them. And this doesn't specify a map level, so if you really don't think you can break out all the mobs fast enough with your build, you can do this in tier 1 maps and still open the chests. And you can get all the other nodes that help, you know, like the duration for the legion, the attack increased damage, two additional sergeants, all that stuff. Unlock the 5 slot map device, that's just do a 4 way, and then 25 rewards, it's pretty easy to get that many if you just reset a lot. You can even ignore the bosses and only kill the small mobs, and just get 25 little icons down there, and that's that challenge. Flight encounters, 13 maps, I just had to farm a bunch. Kill bosses, this one. Now if you get the fire immune boss in a blighted map, he splits off into little tiny flame golem guys, kind of like one of the essences. Each one of those little flame golems that he splits into when he dies counts for this, so if you find him and you kill him, he, this just instantly completes, right, in a T14 blighted map. This, just do a T14 blighted map, corrupt to the date mods. Personally, I bought carries for both of these for like 70 chaos or something each. And yeah, Expedition, this is Super easy, if you like doing Expedition, if you respect into it, use the Refresh Currency, I already did that only by gambling with Gwenon, alright? And then Expedition Encounters in T14 on her, with 5 or more remnants, again, when you respect into all of this stuff and that stuff, you easily touch 5 remnants or more, right? And then Logbook in 81 or her, with 15 or more remnants active again, you just open 81 or her Logbook, don't put any mods on it even to make it easier. Just use your explosive to go through 15 remnants, ignore all chests, just to do the challenge, you know. Count them up as you get them to be sure that there's 15, and then read the mods by mousing over the little icon here to make sure that there's no, like, 100% block or immune to your damage type or some annoying stuff that you can't do. 
And you can do this easier in the expedition boss. There are actually logbooks that have guaranteed bosses like this one, Shipwreck Reef. You can see area contains Medved's Fell of Heroes, the Gwenon boss. You can buy one of these if you want to search for them on trade, or maybe you'll drop one of them and you just kill the boss, and it's easy, that's done. Discover the lake. This is just do all kinds of different tiles in the lake. Right? This is do your four laps, easy. Uh, skill gem reach level 26. This, let's see. Yeah, even without empower, a 21 explosive arrow in a plus 3 bow, only adding one level to it, so you could have like even a level 1 empower and slap it in here and it would still give you the challenge, it's fairly easy. Or buy it from someone, there's people selling this for like 10 chaos on trade 820 on the discord server, fairly easy. This harvest crops, just back into harvest or don't, you don't have to, just do a bunch of harvest. Use life force, fairly easy, you just do a bunch of crafting on this little bench here. And defeat the harvest boss, You, I saw like, I don't know, four or five of them when I was picked into this. But not a single one of them dropped a sacred blossom for Oshabi, which sells for like two divines. So I had to just buy an Oshabi kill for about 40 or 50 chaos. Up to you if you want to buy the blossom run for yourself, or just buy a kill slot from someone. And that's fairly easy. Taint and crafting. You get some of these when you randomly do beyond. Now the ones I had to buy from trade were Tainted, Exalted and Chaos Orb, which were kind of expensive, like, I don't know, 20, 30 C overall? You just use them on random cryptid items if you don't care, it doesn't matter, it's an easy challenge. Form the lake. Now this one is a bit interesting. <laughs> I could not get a single material reflecting this, right, the reflection of Kalanda tile, so I just bought a lake that had it for like a divine or something. I think I got... Shadow Drain while I was doing the lake in the campaign, so it is possible to find the special base types in the Reflecting Mist during the campaign, and I was doing the League Mechanic every zone, because I thought it was really fun. Then the Dusk Ring, I think that's what I got last. Let me check. Yeah, this is the last one I got. Uh, the Skill Effect Duration one. I got this one specifically from a reflecting mist in an 83 lake that I made, which had a tier 4 room at like difficulty 14. Now I don't know if the difficulty or the tier of the room, you know, this determines if the, the reflecting mist has a high chance of having these special base types, or if it's complete RNG, but yeah, just try to make as difficult as possible lakes and put tier 4 stuff at the end, and hope you find Calandra there, that's how I got this one. But the Shadow Drink was just in the campaign randomly. Maybe it is RNG, no idea. Unique maps. The only hard ones here to get are Vintar Square, which you can get by vendoring off or Agnorot's unique staffs. These ones. Oh, I have all of them, I can show you. East, North, South, and West. And you get this one, and its tier is determined by the right level. It's super easy to run. And the other one that isn't on the Atlas is. What is it? Dorianus Machinarium. This one you have to either kill a Delve boss and it has a rare chance to drop it, or buy it from trade, or just buy a completion slot for it for a few chaos, and the others are on the Atlas. You get this fairly easy. Currency in the crafting bench, just use your crafting bench a bunch, right? Do some meta crafts. You know, you have to use a Divine Orb, sadly. <laughs> Pantheon of the Gods. This is just fully upgrade two powers. So I got this minor one and this one, and I got Brian King for Freeze Immune and this one, because damage over time and chaos damage is my biggest weakness on this build. Easy, right? Uh, three special labyrinths. Two of these are fairly cheap. One of them is 200 chaos, and it's really difficult. What I did is I bought all three, and then I paid someone like a divine to carry me through all three. Because I don't trust myself to run all these myself, right? If you know you can run them, run them yourself. It's up to you. This, just kill a bunch of bosses in the lake. Fairly easy. They're, they spawn in the elemental tiles that says defeat, false forged in, frost, fire. You know, all those things. This one. Atlas Memories. I have no idea how rare these are, but the drop rates seem like they suck a lot. I simply bought all of them from trade and just 
like rushed through them, opened maps, opened maps, right? And I just did the last one because I couldn't be bothered to fully run them. I, I think the rewards suck. I only saw like two drop for myself after I was done with these. I got like an Alva Strongbox one and a Kirak Carbinger one drop. That's all I got. I have no idea how rare they are. Now, Master. This piece is dropped from Vow content. I got this one from Vow Temple Boss. I have no idea. I just bought a kill for one divine. Up to you. <laughs> I skipped this one. You can see how little maps I've done by the number. This one. Now I bought kills for these, but as you can see, I now have all three. When you do the Beyond Tiles in the lake, especially higher tier ones that have monsters always spawned the Beyond Portal, you're gonna get a lot of monsters, and most of the time you'll get a boss. And also, while running random maps, you might throw Beyond, and you might spawn a boss. I've spawned a lot of them, tried to sell some of them to players, but I couldn't. It's fairly easy, even though it doesn't look easy. It isn't that hard to spawn them. This, do a bunch of high level lakes, whatever, easy. This one, just run into a lot of Arch Nemesis modifiers, I'm sure you will. Fairly easy. This one, 50 Guardian maps. Now, one thing to note about this one, I tried to use this passive, that spawns an extra Guardian when they reach 33% and heals them to full. The extra one that spawns does not count for this challenge. You have to do 50 Guardian maps and kill the boss. I just specced into it for extra fragments, right? And I specced into this one to drop more maps, and this one, and even this one. And I did a bunch of Elders, and I did find a few Conqueror maps, and also the small Eldritch bosses before the Saving Yang's Arachinator worlds. They can also drop Conqueror maps with this passive. And I just farmed them. You can also use Kirax missions, use scouting reports. Fairly easy. I did buy 16 Elder Guardian maps in bulk, because I got bored and I... Could not be bothered to farm so many. Okay, I was farming Mesa map for ages, I got tired. Divine Revenge, as you can see I found all of these. I even found one in a tier 3 map when I started the league, fairly easy. You will find them, like just do a bunch of maps. This one, corrupt every tier 16 map you run, or look at Kirax mission and see if he has an 8 mods T16 corrupted map, run it. I did this in one afternoon, it isn't that bad. This is the this and the 50 Guardians are the most grindy ones in the league, honestly. This one, all the elemental ones, physical chaos cold, blah blah blah, they're easy, but the hard ones to get are two league ones, because they are very rare to get a tier 3 league one, and then you have to put it to difficulty 10, and it has to be an 83 league. Uh... Then, Deadly Encounters with Style, I simply bought all of these, I couldn't be bothered trying to do them alone. And Almighty Clash, I bought carries because I suck at the game. And that's how I got them, I hope this was useful to anyone watching, and see you later.